Hello and welcome. This is Imanshi Tiwari, and we are at the AT Legal World Event uh, Commercial Dispute Conclave 2023. And right now, we are joined in by Vani Mehta from General Electric. Electric. Thank you, Vani, for being with us. Uh, our first question to you is: How is India positioned as the arbitration hub, and what sort of reforms does the government need to take to make India an arbitration hub? It's been wonderful to be at ET Legal and I think it's a very relevant topic that you have picked on. Arbitration is the new buzz for India and with institutional arbitration coming into India as well as a lot of reforms that we're looking at, it's a very important issue. The union government in this budget has actually come up with a new scheme that we've introduced for contractual disputes being settled one time by any of the government PSUs and I think that's one, a very encouraging step in the right direction given the fact that the government of India is one of the major litigants in the court as well as for arbitration. But having said that, you know, reforms is a two-way process. It is not just about having schemes, it's also about uh, you practice what you are preaching. Given the fact that recently we've seen some uh, very major orders coming in from the from Honorable Delhi High Court with regard to uh, arbitration awards being challenged, with regard to enforceability, and also um, with regard to pre-negotiations before actually going in for arbitration. Um, given the, you know, this is a field which is really coming up. There's a lot of reforms, a lot of lack of, I would say, uh, a lot of need for clarity and especially in the recent Supreme Court judgment that has come in last month with regard to the timing that you know how much time will the uh, can the parties really take in terms of limitation before they actually institute arbitration is a very important um, you know, I think debate which needs to be uh, looked into and uh, also that the recent judgment is in a way diluting the earlier position that the court had given in, in uh, Geo versus Miller. So with the liberalization of Indian legal market, what do you think are the opportunities for both uh, foreign law firms and Indian law firms? Well, I think... Uh, and firstly, I would I really celebrate the fact that you know the markets have opened up for lawyer, uh, for foreign law firms. Um, given the fact that you know we are doing uh, so much of business across the world, the entry of law firms uh, was much needed to sort of uh, make sure that you know we have a level playing field for everyone. And also the fact that you know India is a very major country in the world today. You know the recent visit from our honourable Prime Minister to America and to different. Uh, various other countries promoting business. We need to make sure that we have uh, enough opening of positions, opening of opportunities within the legal framework for lawyers and also there's knowledge sharing. You know, we also, uh, the first reaction is that there's going to be too much of competition, but there's also a lot of knowledge sharing, there's also a lot of learnings for our young lawyers, for our senior lawyers as well in the way we have been uh, working in this field. So, uh, what are the global uh, trends you are observing or anticipating in the field of arbitration in 2023 and beyond? Well, I think one of the big trends that I'm really anticipating, and this has been an idea for a while, but I really want to see it getting implemented, is with regard to uh, in institutional arbitrations coming in big time in the country and also funding. I think funding has been a topic which has been discussed a lot, but uh, we we need to have more clarity on that subject, and we would like more uh, firms coming in and um, helping us with those fundings as well in arbitration field. Uh, all right. So, lastly, how has been your experience at this event? Well, uh, firstly, I must congratulate the ET legal team for such a wonderful uh, event that you've organized, the selection of panelists, having to hear learned judges, the respected attorney general. It's such a refresher for all of us, you know. It's always wonderful to hear senior members of the bar as well as from the court to talk about it. And also, a, I would say, a very relevant topic that you've taken. In fact, all the topics that I've looked at very carefully, they are such interesting topics. They stir a they stir thought leadership and I congratulate your, uh, you, know, you guys for hosting such a wonderful event.